Welcome, welcome! It's Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy bringing you another Star Citizen video. And today's video is, uh, well, a thank you for the well wishes. I've been suffering with COVID for a little over a week now. Uh, I am finally able to go back to work, but uh, it was it was pretty rough going. I, and I'm sure many of you have already had COVID, and uh, most of you probably have had the worst version of it. I don't know. My, my wife got it and she was, uh, she kind of got a milder case than I did. Uh, maybe I'm just a wuss, who knows? But uh, yeah, mine seemed to be much rougher than hers. I had fevers off and on, chills, couldn't sleep, dry coughs, uh, just, you know, the whole nine yards. Um, I have been vaccinated and still ended up getting hit with it. Uh, so, uh, you know, we're not going to go into politics or anything like that in this video, but uh, you guys could still get it, so be mindful of it out there. Be careful. Make sure you got plenty of vitamin C, zinc, vitamin D, those types of things, and you'll get through it. Uh, ibuprofen helps, uh, that and acetaminophen. Uh, I didn't get any kind of special drugs, really. I did take a Z-Pack, but they just said that that shows some promise and helping the immune system so anyways uh yeah so again be mindful out there that you could still get this thing and it sucks it sucks pretty bad i'm going to be dealing with coughing and having junk in my lungs for a while uh which you know if i'm trying to be athletic or do something that gets the heart rate up could really affect me we'll see in the coming days because i still do some athletic stuff some sports and uh, we'll see how it affects me. I'm, I'm uh, interested in seeing how that'll go. So, how are all of you guys doing out there? Uh, are you enjoying 316? Are you ready for 316.1 to already be out? Uh, you know, what's your thoughts on things? Have you seen this new hover bike from Consolidate Outland? I know a lot of the other uh, folks that do coverage for Star Citizen have shown off this bike. And uh, it looks it looks pretty interesting to me. I'm probably gonna get one. We'll see. Uh, you, you know, could be a lot of fun though. It, it doesn't have any guns or anything like that. So uh, I don't know how practical it'll be other than just cruising. You know, just a little luxury cruiser, so to speak. Uh, that could be still be, be fun. The game's fun game to you know would go exploring around different planets and different places. Uh, that, this game's really great for doing things like that. Hopefully one day. It'll be as exciting to explore in space as it is on a planet's surface. Uh, no telling what you'll discover here and there and everywhere. Uh, something else that 316.1 will have in it will be the derelict spaceships. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Uh, I will try to find as many of those for you guys as possible and those puzzles. Uh, I will be revisiting the Javelin Wreck on Daymar. Uh, see if they've done anything else with that, because I would assume they would. It can't just be a wreck on Daymar. they got to do something with it, right? I mean, it's got a nice little background, a little lore to it. Uh, so it needs to have something that you can unlock there. I know at one point they were talking about putting a city there uh, that's kind of grown up out of nothingness. Uh, just, yeah, I, I'm, I'm interested in seeing what else they have done and where else we can find the different ships and stuff. Uh, so, <clears throat> what else are we looking forward to this year from CIG? Well, there have been some great work done on the Nautilus. I actually kind of got a, uh, I guess it was a teaser, sneak peek. Um, maybe it was something that shouldn't have been put out there by one of the devs. Uh, but the Nautilus is coming along. The, the mine-laying ship... The mine laying near capital size ship, uh, yeah, it's coming along. The, the internals and stuff are there. They, I mean, they still have to do some, uh, a lot of artistry on the inside of the ship. It's, but it's definitely laid out. It definitely is starting to shape up and it's starting to look good. They've got some of the animations and stuff that are already there. Uh, so if you guys are fans of the Nautilus and what it can do, that ship is somewhere, you know, Closer to being finished than not, I think. Uh, we also should probably get the Baby Merchantman before the end of the year. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of different ships we could see coming out soon. Of course, the whole sea. Uh, you know, I, I'm just 
this game is going to be very interesting this year. I think by the end of the year it could be a very different game than where it is, uh, even at the beginning of this year. Uh, so I, I'm looking forward to some of the things that they're bringing online uh, throughout the end of this year. Will we get Squadron 42 by the end of the year? My guess is maybe. <laughs> I know a lot of people are saying no, there's no way. But I, I think it'll be probably either it'll be ready to be tested in the third quarter, uh, hopefully for a Christmas release or maybe a summer release next year. I, I don't know. If, if they miss Christmas this year, when's a good time for them to release it? Is it during the summer or would it be around CizenCon the following year or Christmas the following year? Would they actually hold the thing back a full year just to uh, make sure it comes out during like Christmas? That's kind of what I'm curious as because, you know, typically the Wing Commander games usually came out around that time. So what do you think? Do you think if it's actually somewhat ready uh, for a Christmas release this year, but needs a few things to iron out. Uh, you think they hold it back an entire year before they release it and just spend a year polishing? Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I would not put it past them. Uh, I think that could very well happen, that they would uh, hold it back an entire year, polish it up, then release it at the time that they want to release it at. <coughs> Excuse me. That's my COVID cough. Um, what else do we have coming up? Well, uh, you know, Texas Space Navy is still growing. That's my org. Uh, it's really a Texas on the CIG website. Uh, Texas Space Navy is kind of the... Well, there's lore behind why we go by TSN or Texas Space Navy as opposed to Texas. Uh, but we can get into that in another video. <clears throat> Point being is we are still growing. We've got a lot of stuff going on where we're doing some trainings for PvP combat. Uh, we will be doing other trainings in the future. <coughs> Our mining crews are out. They're doing training. They're doing runs. Cargo crews are running different cargoes. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. So it's definitely starting to shape up. The different divisions are starting to come around and we're starting to get more positions filled out. So if you're definitely interested in joining the org, uh, that information will be in the description down below and we'd be glad to have you. And if you're not a Texan, we can make a Texan out of anybody. Uh, so feel free to sign up and we will get you on the org. Uh, a lot of great people in the org. Uh, they don't mind working with new folks. They don't want mind working with folks of pretty much any walks of life. Uh, so uh, definitely check us out if you're interested in getting into an org. Uh, I also want to say thank you to everybody that is subscribed to my channel, that's joined my channel, and that is part of my Patreon. You guys are so awesome. Uh, this month and last month have been really rough for me as far as trying to get videos out. I do apologize. Uh, I do have some ideas for some things coming up throughout the year as far as some new content ideas. Uh, so hopefully you guys will be on board for that and you'll enjoy that as much or more than you've enjoyed the content so far. But thank you so much for tuning in once again. Make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Uh, I really can't thank you guys enough uh, for all the well wishes while I was sick. Uh, you guys, again, are awesome. So thank you very much. If you'd like to contribute to the channel uh, as well without using YouTube or Patreon, you can just watch the uh, videos all the way throughout, click on the ads, uh, watch the ads all the way through. All that really helps. And again, I'm really appreciative of all that you guys do for me and the channel. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, I'm going to cut this one off here. Hopefully I'll have you some more content this week. I'm Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy, and I'll see you out in the verse.